Geographic profiling is a major aspect of investigative psychology. It seeks to use offenders' decision-making on where and when they choose to offend to either catch them in the act, prioritize suspects based on where they live or hang out, or to seek further intelligence and evidence on the suspect. Geographic profiling is able to infer an offender's familiarity with the area where the crime occurred, why they were there, by analyzing the locations and timings of their offenses. It has been found that criminals do not tend to travel far from their base to commit their offenses, unless their particular target is not available in their vicinity. The utility of geographic profiling really came to the fore in the context of serious serial crimes, when psychologist David Kanter assisted police in identifying the so-called railway rapists, who had devolved into murderers in the 1980s. In fact, many other crimes are clustered around the offender's home address rather than randomly and discriminately spread out, for example serial burglaries. As mentioned previously, offenders in general do not tend to travel very far in order to carry out their crimes. Younger offenders do so even less, and less experienced offenders as well. These facts have implications on how you might prioritize your suspects if it appears that crimes tend to be clustered closely together but were not committed on the same day or night. So you start investigating those who live in the area the offense took place in, particularly those offenders who live closer to the first few offenses than the later ones. An offender's first crime locations tend to be closer to their home than subsequent ones. So if you are faced with a series of offenses that you are pretty certain have been committed by the same offender, she or he is more likely to have a base closer to the first few offenses than the later ones. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this content useful. You can get an email with a PDF transcript of each new video that is uploaded right into your inbox. Just go to the main Dr. IPIP website on dripip.com and click on any post and you can input your details in the sidebar. Just enter your first name, your preferred email address and the type of organization you work for. You will not get any spam, this is just for me to be able to let you know about new content.